Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and our Philadelphia Flyers look to make it three straight tonight as they take on the three, six, and two away from their stadium Devils, ten, eleven, and five overall against our Flyers, who are four, six, and two, so only one game better at home um, against the New Jersey Devils, and ten, twelve, and four overall. So same win share for these teams. Obviously, our Philadelphia Flyers. Kind of like the uh, Florida Marlins are for the Philadelphia Phillies. Have the bugaboo with the New Jersey Devils and haven't been able to figure them out. They got shut out in New Jersey last time, 3 to nothing, and lost 5 to 2 the game prior in New Jersey. So hopefully this is a game that you can have some very good play and be able to play much better like we've been playing in Yosis and particularly against Vegas. Vegas, we saw them play one of the worst games because we forced them to play one of the worst games. That was our be- one of our best games, if not our best of the season, to play a team that's a cup contender like Vegas in the way and level we did. And then we took advantage and took care of business against a team that you got to take advantage and take care of business against in the Arizona Coyotes. First and foremost, special thanks to those of you that have subbed this far. Please continue to subscribe down below on the easy to use sub button on the widget up above to keep us going and growing to get to 180 by the end of the month so let's get into this one as we face the New Jersey Devils Um, when you look at the power plays on both of these teams both are pretty piss poor 24th of the Flyers it's looking better with Darrell Williams overall though that's definitely something to build off of so hopefully that continues and the Devils is the second worst in the league at 31st their penalty kill is 10th better than that at 21st the Flyers is at 19th um, where face all percentage of the Flyers are one of the best teams in the league. The Devils are one of the worst teams in the league. Uh, hopefully that will help us lead to possession numbers, because our possession numbers have been a lot better with Mike Yo as well. And then we'll be able to build and grow from that and be able to pounce on the Devils a little bit and just dominate their asses in Philadelphia, because we haven't been good on the road against them. Hopefully we'll be able to get going at home against them. Uh, goals for is 27th for the Flyers, 20th for the Devils. Goals against is 22nd for the Devils, 25th for the Flyers. The Flyers have been looking better. They've been scoring more, obviously, with Mike Yo. They scored more in the um, Avalanche game. The only game they looked really bad so far in the Yo era was the Devils game. Uh, but that was only the second game of his ability to coach the team and he really he still hasn't even got much practice time and he talked about how on Monday yesterday he was going to try to get into shorter practice because of course they have to have the energy for tonight's tilt so it's going to be all about coming out with the energy early on in this game and just trying to show this Devils team who if you can play them more physical they lost four to two to the Islanders on Saturday you can beat this team because the Islanders team has guys that play a little bit more spunk, get in your damn face like Cal Cutterbucks of the world, and show up and really just show up from first to fourth line in your face, in your mitt, and then really push it the other way. The Flyers established that presence a little bit more against the Vegas Golden Knights. If they can do that tonight against the New Jersey Devils, they're obviously not nearly close. Obviously, they have great young talent, but they don't have that jam, as Lobby would say, to add to it the Flyers can show that, excuse me, from Connaughton, Seal, or whoever's in, um, can sh- show that from McEwen. So, a uh, knack uh, replacement has kind of been Willman, excuse me. So, if they can keep getting good play, play a more physical defensive game, and um, kind of push the pace in this game, they have a very good ch- chance, excuse me, to beat the Devils and get off of the snide here against the New Jersey Devils. It's all about just playing um, in front of your goaltender better. That's the one bugaboo they still got to solve. But these are games to build off of. You took advantage in Arizona, and you won against a huge cup contender in Vegas. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick preview to the New Jersey Devils of Philadelphia Flyers. I think the Flyers have a very good shot with how they've been playing of late to beat this New Jersey Devils team, but I'm not going to predict it because this is like the Marlins. You're just running into a square. You're trying to put a square into a circular peg, basically, um, when you try to predict the Marlins against the Phillies, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, with our Flyers, um, with the Devils, just the way that they've been playing the Devils this year, but with the way they've been playing of late, if they can establish that play early, they can beat this Devils team. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please subscribe down below. On the easy-to-use sub button, let's help us get to 180 by Christmas Day, and let's get these Flyers going and keep going by the holiday so they can keep building and keep growing and have a much better um, start from here on out of hockey than they had so far this season. Peace out, everybody.